Right, um, just put a new air blower on this um, ice builder. I took the old one off. Um, this one's small, physically smaller, but it moves about twice as much air. So uh, I've got that teed together. It was doing one, just the one before, so I've teed it and run it into the new one. Anyway, we've put a uh, contact and overloads on it. Um, before it was just wired straight in off the power supply, so that's our neutral. Comes in the top, linked down to the coil because 240 volt coil goes straight through the contactor, through the overloads, comes out here and goes off the motor. Live comes in, linked out there, round to this terminal on the overloads, out on that terminal. If they trip, it'll break, and um, that'll take the power off um, the feed away from the coil. Was that wire there runs around onto the other side of the coil? So if that pulls in, um, that'll put power down to here, and that's linked around to the third, the middle terminal. And then that runs through again, and then goes to the motor. Because these are designed for three phase, they need these are set for three amps roughly. Um, you need amperage on each one of these legs, otherwise it assumes it's lost a phase and they'll, they'll trip after 30 seconds or so. Let's turn that on. That drops the, um, the test button and the reset button. That drops the voltage out of the coil. And that's with the cover on. Um, we're not using the green button. That should reset. So we'll check that works.